Hi, I'm Dr. Tanvir Jain Jua. I'm a board certified facial plastic surgeon and I would like to follow one of our patients who presented with bilateral nasal valve narrowing. She's had septoplasty and rhinoplasty in the past and uh, later on developed narrowing and uh, her right side is worse than the left and we will try to repair it using grafts from the ear cartilage. Thank you. So we are now uh, taking a look at our patient and we want to see how the patient breathes through the nose. Would you take a deep breath through your nose, please? So you can hear the claps. Could you do it again, please? Like you, great. And the patient's complaint is that she's unable to breathe well and has to breathe through her mouth. Is that correct? Yes. And when she flares her nostrils, it helps her. Can you show us how you flare your nostrils to help? That's the most I can do. <laughs> That's the only, only time I can get some air some sitting air. down. If I have to walk, I cannot even, that. even that's not enough. I even that is not walk. enough. Got you, got you. Okay. So now I'm going to just check something else. So let's see if you can, let me try actually something different. I'm going to use this actually. I want you to take a breath again through your nose really hard. So that collapses. Good. Okay. Let's take a look and I want you to try to breathe hard now complete collapse over there. Got it. So, and which side is worse for you? The right side. Right side, great. So, let's take a peek. So, what I want to point out is, I turn you a little bit this side. So, this is the area of maximal collapse. So, let's see. I want you to breathe in exactly right there. So, this is the lateral most edge of the lower lateral crura. And it's the same issue on the other side as well. So, Take a deep breath, please. Right there. And we have to fix this. So when we look in the nose, we can tell that the narrowing is at the valve level. And how do we know when we open the valve just a tiny bit, not a lot, just a little bit, it really makes a difference. So take a breath, please. How's that? A lot better. A lot better. So we'll do the same on this as well. Take a breath, please. How's that? Perfect. perfect. So that's the plan. And I would like to show, if possible, to the camera from underneath as well, so we can take an inside view. As we shine the light, you can see the narrowing is worst on this side. You can almost see the aperture being very small, and then we can open it this way. That side is narrow, but not nearly as narrow as the right side. At this point, I would like to show the nasal valve narrowing on both sides. You're looking at the right nasal valve and you can see there's no room between the lower lateral cartilage and the septum. And this gets worse when she tries to breathe and it sinks in even further. So you can see the lower lateral cartilage flap is prolapsing inwards immediately. We have to make it lateral. And we'll use an ear cartilage graph for that. Let's look on the left side, similar situation. You can see the prolapse of the lower lateral cartilage right there, blocking it and there's a very narrow nasal passage. Our goal is to mobilize this flap laterally and use cartilage to buttress it and give it strength so it does not collapse inwards. And that's what we do. This is the left nasal passage and the right nasal passage. Great, thank you. At this point, I would like to show the changes in the nasal valve. And we have harvested the ear cartilage. And now if you look in there, the, ear, the right nasal valve looks a little bit more open. We have not done anything to the lower lateral crura. All we have done is the stitch in the membranous septum to shrink it or tighten the space between the right and the left membranous septum. So you can see the stitches and the valve is now definitely open already. Next, this little upper lateral crura, sorry, the lower lateral crura, we will lateralize using a graft and widen it even further. And let's go on the left side, same thing. You can see the valve is more open. And she might be able to breathe through this as well, but still not enough. So we will lateralize right here, this portion, the lower lateral cartilage. 
all the way up here. We'll put a graph and then we'll add it even further and have her breathe better. On the left side, I would like to show a little bit of prolapse of the upper lateral cartilage as well. So right here, this is your lower lateral cartilage. Now, if you look up right there, I'm almost bumping into it. This is a prolapse of the upper lateral cartilage or maybe the mucosa covering it, and that's narrowing the valve as well. This I'm just going to do a sec to open up a little bit more over there. We have created our pocket in the vestibule. We are above the lower lateral cartilage and we extended it all the way lateral downwards so we need to go up almost to the piriform aperture to have a proper support mechanism laterally and we will put the graph lateral to the existing cartilage so the existing cartilage is right underneath we are going to put it lateral to that and then hopefully that will work with everything we have have a the graph Our pocket is small, so we will enlarge the pocket and then re -attend. So at this point, we have the graft in place and they will push it off laterally and open up our nasal valve. See the amount of space once we do our vestibular closure. So we have opened up the left navel valve, and you can see the lateralization of the lower lateral cartilage from the graph. And if the back you look, that's where the upper lateral cartilage goes up while extending inward, collapsing along with a piece of upper lateral cartilage. That has been removed, and it's a hard alien suture from letting it in. And this scar is going to pull away from the septum, which is going to help us eventually instead of any problems. If it does become a piece to the septum, we can always cut the scar in the office. So this is going to give her a good area on the left side. And we intend to repeat the same procedure on the right. And just to uh, let you know the patient is awake at this time, and I'm going to have her breathe. Nona? Nona? Nona, sweetheart? She's a little sleepy. Nona, can you breathe through your nose, please? Nona, breathe through your nose, honey. Please breathe through your nose, a big breath. Breathe your nose. Good job. So we can see the movement and overlap. Breathe big. Yeah. I'm going to cover your right side. So let's see. Breathe. So keep breathing with the right side closed and still no collapse. Perfect. Thank you, Nona. Thank you. That's fine. So we have created a pocket on the right side. And I'm using my substance to show you. And this is the remnant of the cartilage, left lower cartilage, that we are going to push laterally. And this is the mucosal flap, and that's the nasal flap. So that's the mucosal flap of the vestibule only, right there. We're going to put it and push the existing lower lateral cartilage outwards. Let's demonstrate this again. So this is the flap. I'm going to hold it and show you better. So this is the flap right here. This mucosa, this is the flap pushed in, and that's the existing cartilage pushed laterally. That's the existing cartilage right there, put it laterally. And we are going to get the graft in there. Let's get the graft in there.
There it is. I wrapped it in. So at this point, I would like to show the valve and the last swelling, so that's compromising it a little bit from looking, but you can see the difference from before. Now that it's open, it won't collapse. Let's see on the other side, that's the left side. And now go to the right, you can see how it is. Why do you open compared to before? Now, uh, ignore the top because that is from the swelling and the demo that's settled down and went on racks. And now we are going to try to have the patient breathe through the nose. Please take a big breath. Can you get air? Yes. Good. Very good. And I'm blocking the left nose. So now breathe again so you can see the left side. And it's not collapsing in. Perfect. You've got a plan. Now breathe through your nose, both sides. Are you getting air? You are excellent. Well done. I'm so happy we are all done. You're very well done. Taking a look at the nasal valves after we have removed the packing, the doyle splints on the inside and the nasal valves are wide open as you can see. We are into the right nasal cavity, it's wide open in the nasal angle. And now we are on the left side and you can see it's wide open as well. Please take a deep breath. There's no collapse. A little fogging of the lens, but no collapse. Please take a deep breath. No collapse on the right side either. Perfect. We are at three weeks after bilateral nasal valve repair. And let's take a look and see how we're doing. Oh, so this is nice and open as you can see the nasal valve on the right side. No narrowing. Mucosa is healing very well. Take a breath for me, please. No collapse. Perfect. Let's take a look on the other side. Left side open as well. Take a breath for me, please. Great. Another breath, please. Wonderful. No collapse whatsoever. That's very good. Excellent. Great. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Uh, I love doing these videos and I really enjoy the participation and the comments and everything from everyone and I will keep putting in more material and if you like it please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep watching the new editions as they come along and also we are active on social media so please like us on Facebook and um, on Instagram and follow us on Twitter. We will try to provide excellent stuff and keep you all engaged and exciting. Thank you very much for your time and enjoy.